Ended up getting some pretty good sized ones on that. Can you bring a tray down? <laughs> Today is July 11th and it's time to pick these potatoes. They're starting to die off, especially these German butter balls down here. The only thing we were using this year for watering was this drip line. Um, and we would just have it go on every day for one hour in the morning. What I've been noticing though is that I probably have got to do a little bit more watering because during the middle of the season I thought these were dying off. That's why I tried some of these other two bags only to find out I just had some real small potatoes. So I think I lacked a little bit of watering so lesson learned just especially in these grow bags. A um, little bit more watering next season and hopefully we'll get a few more potatoes. So would you use the grow bags again next year? Oh, definitely. I These agree. grow bags were fantastic. And honestly, I think they've been awesome. <laughs> I was so worried about growing potatoes. I spent months and months trying to do research as to what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, as there's a million different ways of doing things. But all in all, I'm real pleased with how it went. And it wasn't hard at all. The hardest thing was maintaining these potato vines as they were getting all over the jalapeno. Oh, wow, you got a lot of jalapenos to pick. <laughs> <laughs> these are German butter balls. We have about four bags of this. Let's see how we did. It did rain last night, so the soil's probably going to be a little on the wet side. But, so far, it's a pretty good start. Um, each bag had about four, three to four seed potatoes in them. Um, the ones that we had tried to pull a couple weeks ago, we were getting a lot of small ones, so it's a learning process anyways, but so far this is starting out to be pretty promising. Especially seeing how I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Let me go get the rest of the bags and see how it turns out. Which one is this? Um, purple Peruvian. We're about halfway through. I got I had six bags of them, so this is bag number four. That's the first three bags, so pretty good so far. Man, look at the roots. They kept reaching. Look at that one at the end. <laughs> we'll get in here and find them. I'm noticing on these bags, bottom two inches where I put that as original soil down before I even put any of the seed potatoes down, that dirt seems to be maintaining decent moisture where if you look here, just literally two inches up, how dry it is, and that's with, we got three quarters of an inch of rain last night, plus I had the drip going on, so it'll definitely hold the moisture at the bottom of these bags. Oh, there they are.
Bags left. No bag. I need a higher wheel barrel. <laughs> so that's 11 bags so far. Yep. So those were the butterball? Yeah. No, yeah, German butter. German but butterball, banana fingerlings, purple Peruvians. There yep. were six bags for these guys. So three for this one? There was three for that one and just under nine pounds. So we were averaging about three pounds for every 10 pound bag. This here was six pounds for two. So right again, three pounds per 10 uh, gallon bag. And then we had 15 pounds here for six bags. So no, it's not quite three, but it's, you know, about two and a half pounds per bag. Cool. So don't know if that's good or not in terms of being a professional potato grower, but as far as I'm concerned. For our first time, I think awesome. it's great. Yeah. So now 